We're in the city of Philadelphia. This is Rittenhouse Square, and we're going to take a look at a pioneering program that's putting solar pack, solar powered trash compactors on over 900 street corners in the city that can turn this amount of trash into this amount of trash. The city of Philadelphia, like most major metropolises, struggles under a serious trash burden. About 30 to 40 tons a day in its litter baskets in its downtown area. This represents just six hours of trash. They pick up a litter basket three times a day in this town, and that's what Big Belly does. It takes a lot of trash and puts it in a very small little package. And the device is a fascinating mixture of old and new technology. At its heart is a commercial grade trash compactor like you'd see in any restaurant or cafeteria. And how it works is there's a laser eye right here across on the right and when the trash fills up it triggers the eye and begins a compaction cycle. It could not be simpler. Now if the compactor is straightforward, how this systems work is not. Check this out. This is a solar panel. This unit powers the entire compaction system. It's not attached to the power grid at all. And it runs, take a look at this, on a solid state control mechanism. And it's controlled with an electronic front end like you'd find in any piece of consumer electronics. Here's a motherboard. This is the intelligence for the front end chip. Basic control circuitry, it uses off-the-shelf parts here, fuses. It runs off a car quality 12-volt battery. This is where the solar power is stored. This is a readily available commercial grade SIM card. And this allows the device to be remotely monitored from the sanitation department's central office. And the wireless connectivity fundamentally changes the way the streets department can manage its trash cans. Take a look at this. Everything can be controlled from a centrally controlled web portal. They can look at it in their central office. They can look at it here if they want to. And all the information they need is in one place. Location of each can, how often it's closed and opened, and a general state of the condition of their fleet of trash cans. Over a year, we're looking at $850,000 worth of savings, and our 10-year estimate is $13 million. Instead of collecting our cans 17 times per week, we're now collecting them five times per week. We're able to reduce the staff that service them from 33 personnel down to nine. Those employees who previously collected litter baskets now collect recycling, so no one lost their job as a result. Instead of different assignment, we're able to use our resources, which are very tight, in a much more efficient manner. Now, is Big Belly perfect? Obviously not. There's the question of maintenance. This is a complicated item. Who knows what's going to happen after five or ten years of service? And then there's the major issue of cost. This thing costs $3,800. That's a lot more than the hundred that a normal trash can costs. So cash trap cities face a major challenge in getting the money for these cans. But once funded, they pay for themselves in as little as three years, and they offer exciting options to downtowns trying to manage their trash. I'm Jonathan Bloom, CNN Money, Philadelphia.